world, today we're going to draw a milkweed and a monarch butterfly. You will need paper, black drawing utensil, and coloring utensils. First, start about a quarter of the way into your paper. We're going to start with our milkweed plant. So we're going to start with a big stem that reaches up towards the sky and drawing a second line that also reaches towards the sky. Then we're going to draw two lines outward that suggest our small stems for the flower. The milkweed has many stems that have many flowers on the ends of them. So I'm gonna draw about five or six. Uh, when I draw these stems, for our flowers, I want to remember to leave enough space for us to draw our butterfly. And even as I'm only drawing a few stems for my milkweed flower, you're welcome to draw as many as you like. The more the merrier. And I drew a quick nub at the end of our main vine. Next, I'm gonna start on the flowers. So I start with a very loose M shape. That will be the tops of the small, or of the bottom petals. Then I draw three petals that follow the shape of the M, and they look like teardrops. Then I will draw two parallel lines with two parallel lines inside of them. These are for the top petals where the, they will overlap a bit. And while they also look like teardrops, they also kind of look like candle flames. So I'm going to do the same shape for every flower at the end of every stem. So while we have the same pattern for each flower, please remember that every flower that we've ever seen is unique to itself. So it is okay if your flowers look different than one another and look different than mine. As long as you have the same shapes going on, it's going to look like a milkweed. So go ahead and complete every flower at the end of your stems. They can also all point themselves in the same direction. I apologize that I use my hand to draw. It is tough to see what I am doing, but I am drawing the same M shape, teardrops, and parallel lines that I did previously. Next, I am going to start on my monarch butterfly. So I will choose a flower that will give me enough space for my butterfly. So I start off with two little parentheses shapes and then a small droopy U shape. Next I'll draw the butterfly's head, which is a wonky little oval and give it an eye so that it can see the beautiful flowers. With the wings, I draw two lines that connect the wings to the thorax or the body. So I'll draw the first line that stretches up and over. That is for the forewing. And then I draw the bottom line that does is not quite as long as the top one. And that is the edge of the hind wing. Then I draw a line in the middle and all the way out to the first forewing, then I draw what are called the outer margins, so the wavy lines 
that'll go just from the top of the wing to the bottom. Next, I will draw the scales, which can be tricky, but I'm gonna do everything to the top forewing as I do to the bottom hind wing. So I start with three lines that just follow the wings edges that we just drew. Then I will draw what is called the inner margin, which is going to be the black part with spots on it, but baby steps. Just follow the squiggly lines from the top to the bottom. Drawing the scales could be tricky, but I just draw loose abstract shapes, a nice rhythm and flow to them. You can follow the shapes that I make or you can kind of go more freestyle. It is important to think about your scales and what part of the wings will be colored black and what part you will color orange. So keep that in mind as you draw your scales. This should be a fun, loose exercise. with fun and loose lines. Now I will draw two rows of white dots all the way down the outer margins of the wing. These patterns on the scales help warn predators that monarchs are poisonous. They actually feed off the toxins of the milkweed so that they are toxic to other predators. Now I know it is hard to see and I'm sorry, but I'm drawing the six legs of the butterfly, as well as the proboscis, the tube tongue that helps the butterflies drink nectar. The legs and antennas actually help the butterfly maintain balance and a sense of smell and feeling. Next, I will start to draw in the thorax or the body of the butterfly. Oh, I forgot the antennas. So I draw the antennas pointed towards the other milkweed flowers because they are smelling the other milkweed flowers. And with our black Drawing utensil, we will draw in the black parts of the monarch's scales. So remembering what parts of the scales are orange and what parts of the scales are black. It's easy to start with the outer margin, which is the very, very edge of the scales because that is certainly black. Then it's a little bit easier to work your way in. It's very fun to color in the black parts in between the dots.
it can be tricky to color in the black parts of your scales, but I believe in you. You can do it. Usually the thicker parts of our scales are what's going to be orange, and the thinner parts will kind of look like veins, so they will be black. Now you are welcome to work off the cuff. I am drawing leaves around my milkweed plant. So I am overlapping them along with the initial stem of the milkweed flower. But drawing leaves that are thick or thin and with a lot of curvy lines will help convey movement and help complete the composition of your artwork. I liked to just draw a few that reach towards the sky and have really fun curves in them. You're welcome to draw grass or rolling hills, whatever you like. I draw veins in my leaves to give it dimension and a really fun pattern. So these are just parentheses or C-shaped lines from the stem of your leaf to the edge of your leaf. And I continue that all the way around on both sides of each leaf. Let's make them look like they're dancing. Be careful with the overlap of your leaves and stems. Now let's add color. I used watercolors, but you can use markers or crayons or colored pencils. Anything that you have on deck that will add vibrancy and life to your beautiful drawing. Now we want our milkweed and our monarch butterfly to look accurate. So we will paint our milkweed a deep magenta or a light pink, and we will paint our monarch butterfly orange and white. Everything else in your composition is up to you. You can paint it whatever color or style you like, but you should paint all of it. Fill in the entire sheet of 